On the sixth consecutive day of protests, record numbers of demonstrators here in Victory Square, some 300,000 of them, including all the streets surrounding uh, the cabinet offices there behind me. And, and the country as a whole, another 300,000. We've never seen any protests like this since the, uh, the fall of the uh, dictator Nikolai Ceausescu. Now, I've been watching all through the day as those crowds converged here. Let's see exactly what the mood was like amongst them. The drum beats of protest were growing ever louder throughout the day in the streets of Bucharest as the crowds converged on Victory Square. The controversial amendments watering down the laws against corruption were repealed at an emergency cabinet meeting but it failed to pacify the demonstrators. It's clear that this government team has been a disaster in, in at least in public communication. Um, so they have lost the, the trust of the people and also of a part of their supporters. So yeah, I would expect that they would, uh, that they would uh, insist that the government step down. Corruption has been endemic in Romania. It's touched everybody's lives and sometimes the effects have been permanent. This woman was horribly burnt and scarred when a fire broke out at a nightclub in the capital 16 months ago. 64 people died in the tragedy. The responsible authorities have been bribed to turn a blind eye to clear breaches of the fire regulations. My faith in the government is way below zero. There is no more trust in this government. We don't believe anything they say. As night fell, the crowds in Victory Square swelled into record numbers. The Prime Minister, Soren Grindanu, went onto nationwide television and said he had no intention of resigning. The ruling Social Democratic Party accused the protesters of being part of a conspiracy arranged by foreign powers. The, the gaming zone, it's a, it's a Mexican standoff right now. Who, who's uh, the one who's stronger, who will not blink, will, uh, will win. This crisis is far from over. The people are demonstrating their power and say they will not stop until they win. So we're now entering uncharted territory. Who's going to win this standoff? Who is going to blink first? The government seem determined that they will stand their ground. After all, they have a, a large majority. They won the election very comfortably uh, only in December. This. Uh, cabinet has only been in power barely uh, four weeks so they are determined to stand their ground but the uh, people in the the crowd saying they will not give up this fight they want the uh, prime minister to resign they want the whole of the cabinet to resign and they say they will be back <laughs>